When we first lay eyes on Tommy in PowerBook 4 Force, he is doing almost 100 miles per hour on the highway, headed toward Los Angeles. He makes a quick stop in Chicago to visit his grandmother. The scene shifts to a federal prison, and we meet Diamond, the leader of Chicago's infamous crew, Chicago Brothers Incorporated or CBI. Diamond is picked up in style by his younger, flashier brother, Jannard. Tommy stops at the bar to get a drink. He flirts with Gloria, the bartender and owner, while parked outside of Gloria's bar. A group of guys, who we later find out are a part of the Flynn family, rudely asks him to move. They get into a semi-heated argument. Flynn family is run by Walter Flynn, the patriarch and biggest drug kingpin in Chicago. Walter's children, Claudia and Vic, assist him with the business. What Tommy doesn't know yet is Vic and Gloria have a relationship. Tommy overhears her arguing with Simon, Vic's errand boy. He gives Simon a New York beatdown for talking shit earlier, robs him and breaks his arm. Claudia is in a techno club. Claudia realizes she has found a new designer drug. Vic calls Simon's phone on his way to complete a drug deal. Tommy runs up on Vic in the most gangsta way possible. He demands that Vic introduce him to his connect. When they arrive at the spot, to their surprise, Jannard is already there. Both CBI and Flynn's have been set up. Tommy manages to control the entire room and kill the rookie dope boys, ultimately saving Jannard's and Vic's lives. In exchange, he takes their money and drugs. Jannard tells his brother, Diamond, what happened. After visiting his grandmother for the first time, a well-traveled artist named J.P. Gibb runs up on him. Tommy has a brother, and he's black. Tommy unexpectedly gets ambushed by the Flynn family. Walter Flynn tells Tommy his time in Chicago has come to an end. He calls his L.A. Connect and lets him know he no longer desires to work for anyone. Instead, Tommy will build his own empire in the Windy City. Blues Club that belongs to J.P. Tommy's newly found brother gets shot up. Walter Flynn is sick and can die anytime. Claudia finds a solution to save the family business from a loss of revenue with a new designer drug. Vic reminds her that their father will never agree to expand. She tells her father anyway that what they are selling is outdated and gets shut down. After finding out about his father's sickness, Vic interprets that as a way to be with Gloria. But he soon finds out that Gloria has her eyes and lips set on Tommy. Tommy reintroduces himself to the brothers. While in jail, Diamond put a rival Latino gang member in a wheelchair permanently. In an attempt to retaliate, Rogers' men kidnap him and Tommy and force them to sell their product across a police-filled Chicago within 24 hours. Diamond and Tommy quickly become acquainted and completed the mission. The men are impressed, and now Tommy has acquired allies. Tommy heads to his grandmother's house to connect with JP. He runs into another friend he's not happy to see. In season one of Power, Liliana was a former drug runner girl for Tommy and Ghost. Tommy has every intention of killing her, but stops after finding hidden drugs with the infamous Spider logo. Jannard challenges Diamond to a boxing match. The winner takes the head seat of CBI. The two brothers beat each other as if they were strangers on the street, with Diamond ultimately coming out on top. Tommy and Liliana discuss the racial politics of Chicago. They devise a plan that will require the Flynn family and CBI to partner. Walter agrees to meet with Tommy. Flynn accepts his pitch, as does Diamond. But before they flesh out the deal, shit goes haywire. Claudia has been watching Tommy too. Claudia decides to take things into her own hands by moving her newest product. Jannard and Elijah meet at the barbershop. In the barbershop scene, we officially meet JP's son, D-Mac. Tommy and Diamond meet up at Slick's Diner to talk business. To Tommy's surprise, Vic shows up. They head to the Yardies' territory. Elijah hit Diamond's phone to warn him about the police closing in on the Yardies. The three amigos barely escape. Vic tells Tommy he knows about him and Gloria. Liliana has been kidnapped by the Serbs and needs Tommy to come to her rescue. Tommy shows up like the gangster superhero he is, just in the nick of time and blasts off the heads of two Serbs and basically started a war. Tommy visits Diamond. Although Diamond owes him one, he doesn't agree to help Tommy take down the Serbs. For Diamond, the risk is too heavy. Without Diamond's help to take down the Serbs, Tommy calls on a hungry Vic. Vic has little to lose and much more to prove and gain. Tommy takes down the Serbs and their leader in the most epic way. Tommy's been on edge since killing Tatiana. Claudia runs up on him and tells him about her designer drug. Claudia passionately kisses Tommy, which allows him to sample her product. And her sales pitch works. 
Tommy has the best high of his life. Gennaro had been watching his brother make major moves with Tommy and feels left out. As Claudia attempts to build her organization, the tension between her and May increases. Tommy, Vic, and Diamond find their way back to each other. Tommy needs more manpower to take down the Serbs. The three men put together a plan to attack the Serbs and share an equal stake in their pipeline. Tommy circles back to Claudia and agrees to be her distribution. Mao lashes out at Claudia and even slaps her. Claudia stabs her in the back with an ice pick. Vic surprises Gloria with the land he purchased. Walter's racism runs so deep that he offers Gloria a clear debt if she leaves his son alone. Liliana ends up getting kidnapped again. The three amigos run up on two different groups of Serbian men, quickly eliminating them before they can retaliate. There are also some major losses on Vic and Gennard's end. On his own, he goes to meet with the Serbs to rescue Liliana. A black truck swerves around the corner, firing bullets. The commotion distracts the Serbs and Liliana gets away. It was Gennard behind the mask. Now that May is dead, Claudia calls on Tommy to help her bury the body. Both CBI and the Flynn family pay their respects to Elijah and Simon. Gennard, Vic, and Diamond break up with Tommy. Tommy takes the breakup well. At Claudia's penthouse, they lay out the magical plan to move the designer drug anonymously. Their negotiations are interrupted by an urgent call from her father. The FBI is there seizing files and conducting an audit. While the Flynn family's business was in jeopardy, CBI was busy enjoying the fruits of their labor. With the Serbian pipeline open, business is booming. Gennard hires D. Mac, paying him $5,000 to babysit Tommy, but things take a turn when D. Mac sees Tommy at JP's house. He JP questioning Tommy about his career ultimately forces Tommy to admit that he's a drug dealer. JP wants in. Tommy, Liliana, and Claudia put their plan in action. Vic meets up with Gloria, and the two of them get shot at. Gloria's military background had her well prepared. Diamond flirts with a woman appears out of nowhere at the diner. Before we know it, the two are back at his place having fun. She receives a text message with a link to an article about Diamond. Claudia and now Tommy's product is getting good reviews from their selected distros. After hearing of the attack on his son, Walter runs up on the Serb solo and puts a bullet in three Serbian men. After catching up with the CBI brothers, DMAC and Marshall presents a pitch to the three OGs. Diamond interrupts their presentation with a firm no thank you. Before the young boys head out, Gennard gives DMAC another assignment to kill Tommy. At the Flynn estate, Walter's preparing for the Serbs to retaliate. Tommy explains the concerns he has about JP joining his operation. Tommy's nephew, who he doesn't yet know is his nephew, runs up on him, but instead of trying to kill him, he gives him a warning about Gennard's plan. Claudia has one of the girls introduce the drug to Vic. This decision breaks Tommy's trust, and he snaps at Claudia. Gennard and his crew turn up in the club and have what they deem to be the greatest night ever. He experiences the magical Dahlia High. He tells Diamond about the designer drug. They get into an argument. Diamond's new girl is an investigative journalist who is looking for a career come up. Diamond meets with Tommy to talk business. He asks Tommy what he knows about Dahlia and expresses interest. Gennard takes his own business meeting with Marshall's cousin. Back at the lab, Lauren has figured out how to change the composition of Dahlia. Tommy presents the distros with the new version of Dahlia. Tommy decides to bring JP on the team. His new role will be working in the lab with Liliana and Lauren. Vic using Dirty Cop and Jared through his men try to find information on the drug's origins. Tommy and JP mourn their grandmother. Before Tommy can focus on whether he will call his estranged mother, he makes a requested appearance at the Flynn's estate. Walter offers Tommy to join the Flynn organization. Tommy doesn't take his gesture as flattering and rudely declines. The conversation ends with Walter threatening to end Gloria's life. Walter initiated a hit on Gloria, but Polly intentionally disregarded the order. Tommy decides to give Vic a heads up to protect Gloria. Dismissing Tommy's directions, Claudia visits Diamond and offers him a 10% deal. Diamond smells something is wrong and quickly declines her deal. Diamond also questions Adrian's motives after finding out who she is through a Google search. Claudia tells Tommy she no longer wants to hide in the shadows anymore. She's pretty shocked that Tommy supports her decision. On the other side of Chicago, D. Mc puts himself in Tommy's path and asks Tommy to put him on. Tommy hires him on the spot. Vic and Gloria got ambushed by Serbs, 
Vic's truck is left riddled with bullets. One deadly bullet struck Gloria in the face, leaving Vic heartbroken. Tommy follows D Mac and notices him burying a box. He finds photos of a baby D Mac with JP. He realizes who D Mac is. Walter convinces Vic that Tommy is responsible for Gloria's death. Tommy is unaware that Walter is gunning for him. While speaking with Vic, Claudia is shocked that he thinks Tommy is responsible for the hit. Liliana tells Tommy about the hit on Vic. Gennard now knows that Tommy is behind Dahlia, and he is pissed. Diamond enters the barber shop and overhears Gennard and Blackston's entire conversation. Diamond plays it cool. Tommy finally gets a hold of Claudia. He asks Claudia about Gloria and is devastated to find out she didn't make it. Now that Tommy is aware the Flins have a hit on him, Tommy has no other option but to go straight to the Serbs and make an expensive deal with them that protects him. Claudia tries to run up on Tommy and sees him talking to Merkovic. She runs back to her family and tells them that they were right about Tommy. Back at the safe house, D-Mac is hyped to share with Tommy what he and Marshall accomplished that day. He then admits to being D-Mac's uncle. D-Mac pulls a gun out on Tommy, but instead of pulling the trigger, he runs. Tommy catches up with D-Mac at his usual spot. The two have a heart-to-heart. -heart. A jeep pulls up and fires shots at D-Mac and Tommy. Tommy manages to put a bullet right in the head of one of the shooters, but D-Mac gets hit in the abdomen. Tommy quickly gets him to the hospital and calls JP. Tommy tells him that the kid who's been shooting up his club is actually his son. Flynn's meet with the Irish mob and outline their plan to kill every Serb in town and Tommy Egan. Diamond spends time with Adrian. Diamond gets a call from Gennard, who asks Diamond about his location. The two make it safe to his truck just in time to see Blackston and two other CBI men storm the shop equipped with big body guns. After the kill, Tommy heads over to the hospital where D-Mac is recovering and assigns a Serb to post up outside his hospital room. After putting a hit out on Diamond, Gennard blows up Blackston's phone to get an update. Blackston's dead body ends up on top of Gennard's kitchen countertop. Vic and the Irish mob fall right into Tommy's plan when they pull up to the lab. An intense gunfight breaks out, killing most of Vic and Iowan's men. Gennard runs to the Serbs for protection. Gennard heads to see Walter Flynn and presents his proposal, end the war with the Serbs and team up to kill Tommy. Walter agrees. Claudia kidnaps JP and threatens to kill him. Tommy now knows that Gennard and the Flins are working together. Tommy, Diamond, and Liliana get together to develop a plan before going to the meetup spot where things get crazy. Gennard takes the first shot. All hell breaks loose. Tommy maintains the upper hand and brings Vic out from behind the machinery with a gun pointed to his head. While Walter and Polly negotiate with Tommy for Vic's safe return, Claudia spots Liliana and takes a shot that ends up fatal. Walter's lie is revealed during the final standoff when Tommy demands that he tells the truth about ordering the hit on Gloria. Walter gives up JP and Tommy lets Vic go. With JP safe, Tommy runs to Liliana's side, but it's too late. She dies in his arms. Losing one of his most loyal soldiers truly breaks his heart. Chicago FBI attempts to put the pieces together. They suspect that there's a new player in town. With no known turf or true allegiances, the new player is a big mystery, something like a ghost.